Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel and today this video I've been waiting to make for a month and a half. Well not really the video, I've just been waiting for today. Um, I was really excited the last couple of days. Um, I went to work so I went away and um, a parcel arrived so I had to wait till I came home to uh, talk about it. My new turbo trainer. So I don't know if you know or not, if you've seen the other videos I've made. Um, <clears throat> my turbo trainer broke at the end of July and I was doing really well as well. I was doing quite well in the time trials, my FTP was going up and my weight was going down and um, doing quite well on crit races as well in my category. But yeah, turbo trainer broke, um, it started making a funny noise and then when you have a look through the little vents and or we'll take the plastic off you can see that um, there's metal shavings. I think it was like the electric magnet was sticking onto the flywheel causing it to make a gouge out of it. Um, eventually it's making such a noise I think it was stuck on because um, I couldn't even pedal it wouldn't spin at all so I sent it back and it took um, over two weeks for them to assess it and then they decided to give me a full refund. Well that's okay. Only thing is though the full refund I bought it at a discounted price last year with a discount code and this year even though I had a platinum discount, um, the discount's not available on turbo trainers. I think because of um, COVID, that um, they've stopped all discounts on all the good stuff because it's really popular now cycling, so they're making their money. So um, I decided, I was thinking either, I had four options what I wanted to buy. Either the Tax Flux S, just exactly the same as last time, and hope that it's not going to break the second time. Then I thought maybe I should upgrade slightly. It's a little bit more expensive and get the Tax Flux 2. Um, it's supposed to be a little bit quieter, a little bit more accurate. So um, for future, I thought I'll get the better one. And then I thought, well, if I'm going to spend exactly the same money, it looks the same, it's the same height, same weight, same shape, I might as well go for a Wahoo uh, Kicker Core because it's the um, same price but that might be a little bit better but I didn't like the legs on the kicker core so I did decide I went for the Wahoo kicker the full kicker 2020 version um, it was a bit more expensive I was thinking about getting trying to search for a 2018 version uh, I did see a 2018 version and it was um, what's it called? A refurbished, but we're guaranteed by Wahoo for another two years. But it wasn't a lot cheaper than getting a brand new 2020 version. So I thought 2020 version's obviously newer. Um, it's got a few little bits different. I don't know what, but um, well, it's a newer version, but it's a brand new version, not a second hand someone that's fixed it. So I went for the new one, and the reasons why. I'll tell you now in a minute uh, why I chose the Wahoo over the tax. So first of all, the reason I think possibly is two reasons why my tax broke. If I just walk back here a little bit. So this is my kitchen. This is my area where I've been doing the turbo training. <clears throat> so just before it broke, I bought a new fan. I bought the new TV stand and it's got my tablet stand and there's the TV and then you can plug here with the red wire my iPhone into the TV and then so I put my phone on the side here with the red wire so my TV shows Rift because Rift's too small to see on the, TV, on the phone and then I use the tablet to watch either YouTube music or Tour de France or catch up on films if it's not a very hard race or whatever just watch a film or if it's quite a hard race, I might put some dance music on or whatever. <clears throat> and here's the bike. So I normally had it tax on the mat because it's uh, soundproofed. And then I put it out, ride on it, and then push it back. I think possibly, I didn't tell um, the shop this, possibly the tax flux has got, it's all like a plastic body. I think maybe somebody might have walked past it and need it. 
I don't know, they might have like banged it and pushed it in. The second possible reason how it might have broke is possibly uh, when I go away to work, I took it with me to work. So I'd take the bike off the turbo and put that into my car uh, with the seats folded flat. And then I'd pick up the uh, turbo trainer, carry it out the house and then put it in the back of the car. Uh, it's so heavy that it wouldn't move in the car, so that's fine. <clears throat> but it's just possibly that maybe I picked it up a bit rough or banged it, maybe. I don't remember doing it, but maybe. So, these are the three reasons why I wanted to get the Wahoo. Um, if you look at it, it's supposed to be a little bit more accurate than the all of them, the taxes and the tax I had. Um, it's virtually silent. Well, the tax is quite quiet, but it's supposed to be a bit maybe about the same or quieter. I've seen on time tests. Um, it goes up to 2200 watts, where the tax flux S only went to one and a half thousand, I think. It's still way more than what I can do, but it's, it's better. Um, but the reasons why I got this one, right, so reason number one it's all metal. Well, that's actually that's plastic, but that's metal, that's metal, that's metal, it's all metal. So, even if I did accidentally bang it, there's less chance of it breaking. Uh, it's also smaller as well because the tax was big, all this plastic casing on here. This is just, it's smaller, but it's metal, so less chance of someone kicking it and breaking it. The second good reason is it's got a carrying handle so I can just pick it up in one hand and carry it at the house if I was going to take it in the car. Um, the other one didn't have a carrying handle so you had to sort of try and grab it with two hands on the plastic bit and every time you pick it up you, you could either creaking and cracking and moving and bending. So. Um, carrying handle and third really good reason is so this is in my kitchen so I put it out so it's like in line with the TV and I finish I push it back put it out push it back but with the tacks and big legs sticking out on these this one it's quite stiff because it's new and that but the legs pull out then when you finish with it, you can press the button and you can push it in. Now I'm not going to push it in all the way because it's standing up, I don't want to fall over in the kitchen. But you can push it into like that and then when I put it in my car, it's only like that wide. So it'll go in my car a lot easier. So carrying handle, metal and the moving legs. That's the reason why I spent all that extra money and get in the Wahoo um, Kicker 2020. So it came in the box today. I didn't do an, like a box opening. Everyone has seen videos of opening the box. And if you Google it, you can see what's in the box. It comes with just the basic. It comes with the turbo trainer, instruction book, a sticker. Um, it came with the cassette on it already. And it comes with um, adapters to put either quick release in it or you could put in um, through axles and depending if you've got two different sizes 140 or 148 you can flick them over so it's four different options only thing is though it comes with an 11 to th no, 11 um, 11 gear cassette uh, it, on it was 11 to 28 but I'm using Shimano Tiagra 10 speed so I had to take the cassette off and put um, my old cassette on. I got two cassettes for 10 speed. I've either got a 1230 or 1125. So um, I've gone for the 1125. So I'm not sure how well that's going to be like. I think last time I was using Turbo Train, I had on the, the 1230. But you don't really use the 30 um, unless you're going to go up. Out the Zwift, but um, yeah, so I just switched the cassette over. 
it's got a little spacer um, to put on first then the cassette goes on and then the locking ring um, I didn't use the through axle adapter because I'm using my old Carrera bike which has got a uh, quick release but my giant bike has got through axles if I wanted to ever use that um, all you gotta do then is adjust the height of it because you can change you see here you can change the height of it for a um, mountain bike or 29 wheel bike 26 24 or road bike so you stick in the road bike and these are new compared to the older version um, the special feet which like give a bit of movement a bit of bounce so you can adjust the height of them but also it's got a bit of softness but what I did last time on my um, tax I did use this mat to sound deaden the, the noise because it vibrated to the floor but um, it doesn't fit because when I had the tax on here it comes to the end in the end just the right size but um, on this one it goes up too far from the mat so um, I'm sure it's a square mat so I could either chop it a little bit out and put them under the legs if it's noisy but like coasters uh, but otherwise it's too small so I didn't use the mat today but it's quite quiet first impressions um, you can hear obviously the chain making a noise you can hear uh, the bike drive train making a bit of a noise there's a tiny bit of a squeak in coming from the, the belt but it's brand new maybe it wears in a bit but overall it was quite quiet I'm uh, quite happy with it easy to set up you just plug it in um, Bluetooth turns on straight away you download the free app for Wahoo it says to connect it that was easy plugged into I turned on Zwift so I um, cancelled my subscription so I had to buy a new subscription for Zwift um, and then it just says connect a new new turbo trainer new power sensor and stuff the only problem I had today was my Garmin watch ran out of battery so um, it wouldn't record my heart rate so the first thing I did today was because it's the first time I've been on this tax I haven't been on no trainer and I haven't been on a bike since like July I did an FTP test so um, I wasn't sure what it was going to be like so I started off I did a like a 10 minute warm up just on a track and it was France I've got a new track so I did like 5 minutes 10 minutes warm up on that then I jumped into an FTP test but it was using the power settings from my last FTP which is obviously more than I can do today so I was a bit tired but hard doing that so I I pressed the wrong button I pressed um, stop instead of um, just reduce the power I wanted to skip to the hard parts and jump straight into the test but um, so I just set it up again I did an FTP test it wasn't as good as uh, my last one few months ago I've lost a bit of fitness but um, that's okay gives me a guide of where I'm starting at all I've got to do now is um, choose a training plan either do an FTP builder or just jump straight into a crit or a time trial builder but um, it would have been good to see my heart rate to see how hard I was trying on the effort but um, I think I, don't know, I felt not too bad I was I was going up in power towards the end, not down in power. So if I pace myself, I probably could have got a bit better, but um, I've lost weight because I've been on a diet recently, low carb diet. So that's probably why I had no power. Plus I only had three hours sleep last night. So um, yeah, that's the new turbo trainer and um, gonna make some new videos and updating you with my fitness and training. See you soon.